Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Table Talk Review. Today we're reviewing 13 Words. 13 Words was given to us by Captain Gaines. It is for 2-8 to eight players, about uh, 20 minutes, and for ages uh, 8 and up. Okay, so a little bit about how this game works. It is a co-op game where you set up this wheel, essentially, kind of like a clock. It's got numbers 1 through 12 on it. And around it, you will set uh, a set of words on on cards. They're double sided. I, no, I'm sorry. Starting over. Yeah, I struggled too long with those instructions to get okay. the card out. Oh, okay, that's it. fine. I don't know what you're trying to do. What do you mean, try? I'm trying to get the instructions out. Okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> okay. I didn't know I thought we were going to talk about Rubel first, but okay. No, if you you do your quick review first. All right. Starting over. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Table Talk Review. Today, we're reviewing 13 Words. 13 Words was given to us by Captain Gaines for two to eight players, ages eight and up, in about 20 minutes. So a little bit how this game works is you're going to set this uh, wheel, essentially, that kind of looks like a clock around the, or in the center of the table, and around it you're going to put uh, some of these cards, which are double-sided with words on them. And once you have set that up, you'll put one in the center of the ring, in which case uh, the, someone gets the captain token, and everyone will get one of these little dial wheels. And the way this will work is whoever has the captain will then try to associate one of the words surrounding it with the word on the center uh, by pointing his little dial to that word or the number to indicate which word. Everyone else will do the same. Once everyone has chosen a word, you put it face down and the captain will then reveal once everyone has chosen a word. and to establish what word he chose, everyone else will reveal what word they chose. If anyone matches the captain, they'll move the little star to uh, gain a point. Everyone else who matched the captain will gain a point, and then the captain will pass, and the word the captain chose will then be put on the center, flipped over for a new word, and uh, with the new word, the new captain will try to pick another word, and we'll keep going like that until there is one word remaining around the edge because limited choices. Uh, there is a QR code on the box and on the rule book where you can watch a video of how to play. But yes, so that's essentially how to play it uh, in a nutshell. Um, so what do you think about, uh, I guess, the artwork? So uh, that... It's just, you know, just random abstract art. I like that it's colorful. Uh, there's not much to it, uh, art-wise. Uh, no, it's not. It's just a lot of colors, circles, and numbers. So it's not a huge amount of, of artwork, but I do like it's very colorful. I do great. enjoy the color colorfulness. Um, the quality is good. These are all like nice cardboard. Nice, thick, sturdy cardboard. And then each one, when you assemble it, has directions of how to assemble the uh, dial. So I like that it was very thorough. With so that. this game does have some assembly required mm -hmm. uh, when you get it. Uh, so yeah, the components are pretty good. The cards are, you know, pretty standard fare, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, cardboard's pretty thick. I it's mean, all good components. Uh, gameplay is a very simple game that. I guess there is a good re replayability in the amount of words we are given. It's front oh, yeah. and back. And we have two stacks of these. About that thick, yep. yeah. Yeah. Check so, our unboxing, you'll see. Um, so I think replayability is good with the words, but it is a simple game. I do enjoy that it's easy to teach and learn and play. What about you? Uh, I agree. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's light party game can play up to uh, eight was, people eight people yes mm -hmm. um and yeah i mean as I said it's a, i think it's a good icebreaker uh for a large group um are you ready to give your rating um well 
You said it's got replayability. It's yeah. It's pretty simple. With the words, yeah. How big is the rule book? It is two pages, but you know. Is it a pamphlet? Oh yeah, yeah. and then there's the, um, the scoring that you add up all the points at the end uh, and you compare it to a chart, which is uh, very handily on the back of the captain token, yes. as well as the rule book. And I am, I do like how they're very nice with their scoring because the first level score is you won, congratulations. Uh, there isn't like you lost. Yes, there isn't because anything like you lost. You're great. You're good. You're getting yeah. better. You're amazing. And, yeah. and, and I like how they're cheat? so nice <laughs> yeah. with that. Okay. It's just a lot of um, good words. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I'd, I'd say um, my overall rating, I will give it a buy it if, uh, if you're so inclined. If <laughs> you're so inclined. <laughs> yes. I I gotta have it because I like it's a good party game with a good number of people that you can play with eight but you can play with two players it's not as fun but it's still it's still doable, doable. yeah exactly um, um, and I like how nice it is and components are great quality so I would have it and the gotta have it so my I think my only drawback uh, is that sometimes it's just really hard because I can't think of anything like, like none of the words, in my opinion, associate with the card. Then you just do your best. Yeah, you do your best, but it's kind of a 50-50 at that point. Alrighty. So, thanks for watching our review of 13 Words. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.